Welcome to another Tech Talk brought to you by Frontier Precision. Today we'll be talking about how to colorize your point clouds within Trimble RealWorks. In order to perform the colorization process, you first need to collect a 360 degree point cloud. Today I'll be using data collected from the Trimble TX8. You also need a panoramic image of the exact same area. First, we'll go through the process by importing our scan stations into Trimble RealWorks and opening the real color tool. We will then move on to image matching and also verifying that the colorization process is complete. From there, we will register our data and perform another visual check, and then we will display our colorized results. I'm going to open Trimble RealWorks and load in two of my scan stations. Once my scan stations have been successfully loaded into RealWorks, I'm going to highlight them and open the Real Color tool in our upper toolbar. This will automatically import any TZF scan data into the Real Color tool. In order to add our imagery or our panoramic images, we need to click this plus sign in the left hand side. I'll then navigate to where I've collected and saved my imagery and load in the corresponding imagery sets to the TZF scan data that I have already loaded. Now we can use a manual matching technique and select our scan data and our imagery, or we can have the computer try to automatically match our images to our scan data. That's what we're going to try by clicking match. If we see now in our process window, the software has successfully matched our point cloud to our panoramic images and has given them a score ranked from 1 to 100. The higher the score, the better the overall image matching. Now it's important to remember that this is a batch processing tool and you can load as many TZF scan data and pa panoramic imagery as you have. This process may take some time. In order to verify that the colorization process has been completed and is successful, we will wait until one is complete and then click on it. Our first one is now complete, and if we click on it, it opens up in our control tool here. I like to zoom way in and find a discrete edge and line it up with our crosshairs. Now we can use this sliding bar to go all the way to color, which is from our picture, and slide back over into our intensity values, which is from our scan data, and make sure that they match up pretty well. This one seems to have done a good job. We'll wait until our second colorization process is complete and perform a visual check on that one as well. All right, this one is complete, and we'll perform another visual check by zooming in and finding a discrete edge and lining it up with our crosshairs. I like to start using the picture or color first and using the slide bar to go all the way over to intensity and making sure that they line up correctly. This one also seems to have done a good job. When you exit out of this tool, it automatically prompts you to save your results. I'm going to overwrite an old project here. So now we have colorized our point clouds, but we still need to display them. I'm going to highlight my two TZF scan stations and create a sampled scan. First, I need to save this project. I'm just going to call it Project 3. In order to save time, I'm going to sample this um, to the fifth step so we get a, quite a few less points back. And click OK. So this is now actually going to display our point cloud data, but it will not yet be registered. This process may also take some time depending on how many points are in each of your scan stations. All right, we can see that our point clouds have now been loaded into Trimble RealWorks. If I zoom out, we can see that this is an intensity shading. We have colorized our data, so if I highlight our TZF scan stations and go into our View tab, we can now colorize this by its true color. 
And if we zoom in, we can see that the color colorization process was successful. Um, if we notice, these scan stations have not yet been registered though. So once again, I'm going to highlight my scan stations and go into our registration tab. I'm going to do a quick cloud-based registration. I know that there is sufficient amount of overlap in order to perform this registration tool. So I'm going to use the automatic registration wand and allow the software to attempt and register this automatically. We can see in our lower window here that the registration has been computed. Green is one scan station and red is the other scan station. At this point, I like to use the registration visual check tool. And my preference is to use a perpendicular slice to see how well this registration was performed. If we orientate this in a certain way that we can see an object, and how well the registration was performed. And I like to check multiple different objects. It looks like this did a pretty good job. I'm just going to refine it. We have an overlap of 58%. I'm going to apply that registration. Once I close the tool, we will see now that we have a registered and colorized point cloud using our two TZF scan stations. This has been another Tech Talk brought to you by Frontier Precision. If you have any questions about the colorization process, please visit our website at www.frontierprecision.com. Thank you.